Hi everyone, today we are doing a Q&A. Oh, the water just went everywhere. <laughs> hey, as you can tell, we're in Luna's playroom. We're just gonna have her kind of run around because she's down to one nap a day and we have other stuff to do. We already wasted her first nap doing other things. So yeah. we're like, might as well just film, let her run around, do her own thing. She might turn on the piano and you'll see her in the background running around and playing. I was telling Steven, I was like, it's so funny. Like this is literally the definition of a mom. I did not get ready. As you can tell, I've been working on something outside and then I went and got Luna ready. And like, look how cute. Look how cute. Adorable. Look so cute. Adorable. We asked you guys on our Instagrams to ask us questions. We're gonna do an updated Q&A. So thank you guys for whoever participated, whoever just viewed the story. First question, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, this. I think this is one of the most important questions that we're gonna be asked. How are you going to manage content creating and privacy as Luna gets older? Will it be up to her? Absolutely, it'll be up to her. If she doesn't ever want to be a part of a video, she has every reason to not be. Like, I, even when she's two, I'm gonna respect that. Exactly. But if she doesn't want to be, if she doesn't have, have a camera in her face, she doesn't have to have a camera in her face. Yeah. We were talking about this the other day, and we were saying like, we we like having Luna in our videos because she is our life, but we don't want to be all about Luna. Exactly. It started as Madeline and Steven, and now she's just a little addition. I feel like that's where some family channels get a little lost when they do have kids, is they start making it all about their kids. I don't know. We, we don't want to turn into that, and if you guys ever start seeing us turn into that, please let us know. Yeah, because we, we don't want to lose sight of that. We really want her to have her own childhood, and, and if she doesn't want to be a part of videos, she doesn't. But with that being said, if she wants to be a part of them, by all means, she's allowed to be hanging yeah. out with us and being a part of it. And I think it's a lot of like good um, bonding time with your kids and stuff. I think we're so lucky that we are with her all day, mm -hmm. every day. Some parents don't get that luxury. Um, and we are going to do a lot of like fun things with her, and we're going to film it. Um, yeah. So. I don't know. It, there's a lot of debate side to side what you want to be on. I don't know. But we definitely think about what we are posting and we think about if we would want that on the internet of us as a child. Um, so yeah, just know that we do think about it every day, mm -hmm. all day. When we're about to post a video, we triple check it to make sure that this couldn't be taken in a creepy way. We always think about her safety. Her safety is number one. Michael's like, I Hello. heard the camera. I gotta make my appearance. Oh, Not you wanna here. you wanna read a book? Okay, here I'll have you read it. Yeah. We always think about her and the safety of her. So absolutely, it's just still gonna be Madeline, Stephen, Luna will make appearances every once in a while. I hope you guys have kind of noticed that transition. We have made videos and things like where she's not even in them. And if mm -hmm. she is, it's literally like five seconds. She like is running around in the background or something. Yeah, or... we are trying really hard not to just make everything about her, but there are moments that are really cute um, in that we want to share, so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the door's open. See. <laughs> Hey! Come back here! <laughs> she literally just... <laughs> she started laughing. You have to be in here because you can't play alone. Sorry. Dangerous out there. Sorry, baby kids. Do you miss the times when it was just the two of you? Yes, I I say yes and no. Yeah, it depends on the day. <laughs> yeah, because there are some days where I'm like, man, we just used to be able to do everything and like yeah. just we would spend time with each other all day every day. And when you have a kid, it's basically all about the kid. <laughs> yeah, um, which is fine. I mean, we freaking love her and we love the times that we are doing with her. But does that mean we don't miss some of the days when we were child free? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would love to sleep in some days or I would love to not wake up two times in the middle of the night, <laughs> like that kind of stuff. But but the positives outweigh the negatives 110%. We absolutely love her. And whenever we say we miss it, it's the days that we want to be lazy. Exactly, yeah. It's the days that we don't want it's to not do like, anything. I would never give up what we have now. No. Ever. ever. In a million years. Ever. But it's totally natural to mourn the times when you did not have a big responsibility. Just, it's a huge responsibility to have a child. Just because we miss the times when it's just us doesn't mean that we have any regrets. Yeah, and that we don't love Luna. Yeah. We absolutely do. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Let's leave the kitty alone. How has life been with a toddler? P.S. I love you guys so much. P.S. We love you guys so much. Or you so much. And you guys. Life with a toddler is like 
it's not crazy, but it's like crazy. It's so fun it really and is. hard at the same time. I just love being able to watch her mind and her like start understanding concepts and like I can tell her to go grab something and she will like when literally six months ago she would just sit there and like yeah. stare at it. I say it's easier in a sense because she can independent play and we don't really always have to be with her and everything. Like we could just sit in here and just watch her play around and, and she loves playing by, I mean, she's playing by herself right now. She's <laughs> just sitting in the corner playing with her toys. On the other hand, it's a nightmare because she gets into everything. She's yeah. running all around the house, grabbing stuff she's not supposed to grab. They're not kidding when you take your eyes off of them for two seconds. It's like they disappear. They could get into so much that you didn't even know you had. Like, it's insane. So it's far, awesome. Fun. It's yeah. awesome. So far, super fun. Um, apparently, like, terrible twos. We haven't had much tantrums. I think we've had, like, mini tantrums. We yeah. haven't had, like, a full-on one. Hope it, so both let's hope happen. it stays like that. Steven, are you going to start a gaming channel or game live? I've talked about that for, like, the past five years. Like, yeah, I'm going to do, like, Twitch or I'm going to live stream games because I used to play games all the time. But after having a child, I sold my computer. I don't have time for games. Like I, I don't play video games anymore. We'll play the Wii at night, but that's just because like we want to have time to ourselves and that's our form of date nights. But I don't think I'll ever uh, get back into playing video games. Like PC sit down. Yeah, I don't, I don't have time anymore. <laughs> How do you hand, that was so sweet. Thank you so Give much. It to How do you handle conflict? So we've actually answered this question a couple of times, um, but we feel like it's pretty necessary just in case like you're going through it with your relationship. So we've always been told, don't go to sleep angry. Don't go to sleep, you know, finishing the argument. Steven was the type that wanted to talk it out right then and then try to figure it out. Why? always wanted to run from the situation for a second so that I could gather my thoughts and that we could come together after we had time to think about why are we actually upset. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's so sweet. And then we then talk it out after we've had like 10 minutes to ourselves to figure out why am I actually mad and that way we didn't blow up and say like the yeah. wrong thing or what we didn't actually mean. And with that being said, communication is 100% key in any and relationship. Compromise. Yeah. That's really it for us. Like we we're lucky enough that uh, we really get each other and we understand each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you she singing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's singing. Yeah, yeah, oh, she's playing piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her Good form job. of singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you singing? Uh, before we got married, we took a premarital counseling class, like as a gift, and honestly, it was really like, eye opening. I wouldn't yeah. say we needed it, but I don't. I don't think we needed it, but. We it really so helped much. it like more than I thought I went in there and I was like eh, like do we really even need this but then taking notes and everything and just we really got to understand each other and how we cope with different scenarios and I really do think that helped our relationship and how our backgrounds affected yeah. the way that we argue or whatever yeah to summarize we really just like if we were to get in an argument we kind of separate for a little bit gather our thoughts because the last thing we want to do in an argument just have is a screaming match and say something say something we that to. we don't mean something because in the heat of the moment you might say something really negative or something to hurt the other person's feelings and that's the last thing you want to do you want to have a civil conversation about it and that's what stinks is because i feel like in some relationships it's one side one person in the relationship does that and the other doesn't so it's really you got to be able to communicate with each other, and that's how we handle conflict. Has Luna said any words yet? So yes, she's saying mama, dada, bubble, bubble pop. pop. <laughs> she looked at us whenever yeah. we said bubble. Yeah, bubble, 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 bubble. Pop. <laughs> Good job. She loves bubbles. She does love bubbles. In the bath time, we'll blow bubbles. Out, we go outside and we'll blow bubbles. and. 
We love bubbles. Yeah, she says, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's her singing. She's not really talking too much. Um, apparently, people say that they either choose the skill of walking or talking first, and she's mastered walking, obviously. <laughs> she's starting to get her teeth. She's now cut three, about to cut her fourth within the next couple of days. Yeah. Um, and I really feel like when she gets those top two teeth, she'll probably try talking more. So anyway, I feel like she'll definitely start talking a little bit more after that but i'm not worried she's attempting so we're that's good. all that matters she'll do it eventually yeah when is the next cruise would luna come if not what age would you take her with her with you sorry we don't know when our next cruise is we really want to go on one we really i want to go to alaska yeah i think that needs to be our next Luna would come with us. I think taking her on a cruise now would be fun now that she can walk. It would be, it would definitely be easier. But with that being said, I'd also want her to be out of diapers, but. I don't think also, I can wait another two we, years. We should, yeah, we should. <laughs> Especially if we start thinking we want to have another kid. I'm like. Yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. We don't know, probably either early 2025, late 2024. And then yeah, she would come with us. Yeah. While we are on the topic of vacations, we got asked any trips coming up. Are you guys coming to California again anytime soon? So we don't have flights or anything booked, nothing like that, but we are possibly thinking about going to, I think it's July. Yeah. I think it's July. Um, going to California in July for Pokemon Go Fest. And to see Drew. <laughs> yes, and to see Drew, obviously, but use that as an excuse to go play Pokemon. Yeah, maybe too. we'll make an appearance on Emergency Intercom. Maybe. Maybe. Um, and then we are going to bring Luna with us. That actually might be kind of cool to do like another episode and then Luna's this big now. Dude, it's going to freak some people out. Yeah. She just grows so fast. He goes, ha 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 ha. Ha Dude, her curly hair. I know, I feel like it's like really It's really curly. curly. I think it's just humid. Yeah. What do you and Steven do on your free time? And do you have time on your own often enough? So to answer the second question, I'm gonna answer the second question first. We do have our alone time. So usually one of us will be on Luna duty. We'll be hanging out with her while the other person does chores or just takes a nap or... <laughs> Ooh. I wake up in the morning. She though. does. She I do does. the morning shift, and if she wakes up in the middle of the night, that's my duty. So yeah. that's why I get a nap. No, I know. <laughs> but I've started to drink coffee, and I don't remember the last time I had a nap. Yeah. But yeah, we do have our own alone time. I do my puzzle. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah, whenever we have time to ourselves, it's usually at nighttime and during our first nap. But during our first nap, we like to get stuff done around the house. We do our chores um, around the house and other things that we need to do. And then at nighttime, we have time to ourselves. I've been learning to play the piano right now. So I play piano, Madeline does her puzzle, and then we'll just get in bed. We'll watch some movies or some shows and uh, kind of just talk with each other, just hang out, mm -hmm. catch up. That's pretty much it. Last question is, who does Luna love more? I, I already know the answer. I it's don't okay. know. There, she it's has okay. her moment. Some, With both of us. Some moments are mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. Some of them are. Yes, they are. She loves her mama. I think And she, she loves her dad that much. I think does. she loves mama a little more. We're gonna test it out really quick. We're <laughs> gonna get on separate sides of the room and we're gonna have her walk to who she loves more. <laughs> I think we <laughs> Yeah. I think she just has um she's in a phase right now. Whenever she understands jokes, Oops. she'll love me. Try to get her to come to us or we just gonna put her arms out. I think we don't. I think we just have to just sit here <laughs> and see who she walks up to. What? Hey, Luna, do you love Dada? Yeah. Yeah, I you do. do. Love Dada. Well, come give me a hug, or because I don't believe you. Who do you love more? Oh. Thank you, <laughs> thank wow. you so much. That was so sweet. I'm never letting go. I'm never letting go. And we'll say you did talk to her on her way over. How about, how about you just let me have this one? <laughs> how about you just let me have it? <laughs> hey, Luna, you should give Dad another hug in a case. That was really sweet. Okay, Luna. I'll have you talk this time. 
Oh my gosh, you <laughs> walked to me. One, two, three. Luna. 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 Oh, sorry. <gasps> oh, she pressed DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Give my mug. Wow. I'm. Oh, I'm Dada. <laughs> it's just for today, though. I am actually shocked. <laughs> this is just for today. Tomorrow will be a different story. Luna. <laughs> please give Luna, your mama a hug. Please give one hug. <laughs> I'm Dada. I think Can you give mama a hug? Do you think it's funny? Ah, oh, there we go. That was so sweet. Mom, I love you. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to drop us a like. Consider subscribing down below. Hit that bell so you guys get notified every single time we post a video. Follow us on Instagram. It'll be down below. It's getting a little bit bright outside. Check us out on Instagram, TikTok. We post like daily on TikTok so if you guys want to see more of us. Are you dancing? Fun to stay at the YMCA. Uh, uh, uh. We love you guys so much. Hope you guys are having a great day or night or whenever you're watching this. Always remember to be kind. And we hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.